very important aspect of marriage is expressed in our affection for each other and intimacy. It's also the least talked about because it's the most private and personal part of our relationship. We won't go into specifics on sexual activity, but rather the attitudes of everyday life that can enhance or hinder the quality of our intimate marriage. Everything today is geared to getting what you want instantly by making it available as quickly and easily as possible. The buyer gets what they want, and the seller as well, and quickly. Most modern populations don't have the concept of waiting for something, and if they do, they'll quickly go somewhere else to purchase what they desire. If someone from a hundred years in the past were in the here and now, what do you think their reaction would be? I believe their first impression would be a severe culture shock. And then what? Will the person be able to say that we've substantially improved the quality of our lives? Before the mid-20th century, sexual activity was mostly confined to marriage relationships and frowned upon outside of that context. Marriages are now declining as a feature of life, and many couples choose to engage in sexual activities without marrying, having children and founding family units. Since the advent of the birth control pill, a major barrier for abstaining from sexual activity has been lifted. You can now satisfy your desire without the inconvenience of becoming pregnant. If you do make a mistake and get pregnant, ready-made abortions are available to rid you of the responsibility of your actions. It's quickly done, just like the rest of all the conveniences in society. Society has made things available for us to indulge in our every whim. But the satisfaction of sexual desire is far more complex than just doing what feels good at the moment. He doesn't want to deprive us, but rather that the experience of sex will be lived in all its wonderful fullness in faith, trust and love as he ordained it. Next week we'll be talking about the sacred nature of intimate relations and their reward. God bless. Bye for now.